Fitzpatrick's had a good day. He was out in 30, starting the back nine. Bogey to third, then the tee shot finished there at seven. A nice little chip across the green. Be good enough for a birdie. Here we par eight. Up at the ninth. Just a misses chance. Shoot at 60. Four, he would knock that one in the bar pot. Back in 35, 65. And Fitzpatrick sits proudly atop the leaderboard. Only two shots at the moment at minus 12. Similar line to his playing partner, so he's got a good read. That is it. Yes, look at that. A real strength of York's game. His putting has become. 15 feet left is a, is a sensible shot here. Pins are tucked today, Eddie, aren't they? They are. They felt that way to me, certainly. All on little ridges. Very, very difficult to hit close to them. Um, Ball flying yeah. a little bit further today, I would imagine. Yeah. Adrian Morocco, there's a statement. Birdie, par, birdie. Joins Eberg and Yannick Paul. Five under par at the moment. Great shot, this Eddie, isn't it? Down this hill. Yeah, this is an inviting shot, as I said. A pin tucked on the left today, so you just, you know, a bit long is going to be the sensible play. Great iron play, Alex. Um, and he hasn't let me down. Good three on that hole. It's certainly one of the tougher par falls out here, I would say. Whatever works, Eddie, whatever works. Didn't work over the forefooters, I suppose, but that was probably me more than it. I'm going to have to try aim point. I always thought the plum bobbing was for old people that couldn't get down, couldn't get down to, to, to see the topography of the green. You play with Miguel? Eddie? I have a couple of times. Good to play with, obviously. Yeah. Core specialist. <laughs> Fabulous shot from McIntyre right down the pin. Here's the South African, Henny Duplessis. His tee shot at the eight. Tough pin today, back left. On its own little, little ridge, you, you just don't want to miss this left, really. So I think anything to the right 20 feet. All that, I suppose, is even better, but... Uh, Wonderful putt for Bjork. Moves within four. That's another good pop for Bjork. You see a little broach shots maybe coming up slightly shy, but he's finishing off just beautifully. That ridge and that's helpful. That's superb. That's well thought out, and well judged, and right back to hole high. Yeah. Is on fire. On a day that is so important to him in terms of his Ryder Cup quest and trying to impress Luke Donald or maybe make his way into the top two and challenge Bob McIntyre for that final automatic. What a start. Oh, that was nicely done. Oh, they are first birdie of the day. So, as you said, a bit below his feet, quite a lot of sand up there in the face. 
That's a great shot. That was a lovely touch. That was not an easy bunker shot, and he made it look really easy, so... Lovely sound from the practice swings, just brushing the grass, trying to make sure he gets the right contact, and boy, has he done so. How good is that? Hey, look at the 11th. Flag in the back right, just up the little tier, so difficult to get to, I was about to say, but clearly not for Ludwig. <laughs> not with that golf game, Tim. I don't know what they're laughing at. Maybe they thought they'd popped it in for the car. I'm not sure. I, I don't think the other one's going to get there for that. Well, this is Tom McKibben, who also hit one of the shots of the year at the Porsche European Open. Oh, get in! My goodness me, I think that clipped the flag. A little puff of breeze in his face. Sit, sit. Asking for it to sit. Ooh, Doesn't need to sit shot, much. Yeah, Wonderful yeah. two shots straight at it. <coughs> Another birdie chance. Already five under. Yeah. 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 Anywhere else was it? This is a stunning performance by Moronk. Tom McKibben. The twelfth for a birdie up the hill again. Flag cut and a little tear at the back of the green, so beautifully old from Tom McKibben. He benefits greatly from the experience of Dave McNeely, the caddy. Yeah! How about that? What a pop from Moronk. It was a little right to left. It was well read. Moronk marches on. Seven under par for the round, ten under total. It's a brisk rhythm to his putting stroke. And the ball seems to me to come out of the middle of the putter every single time. Sound. Sound number it. five on the bottom of the club there. So a five iron right, second yeah, shot. Going back to one for you, see that. you see that? Having the iron in the hand, he could get the height, and he does hit it high to get it to stop. And that is two superb shots from Moronk. Harrington has gone to minus four. Be safe. Three good swings from here. Oh. That's certainly one of them. Splendid shot from Harrington. Simply peppering the pin. Well, that puts him nine under for his round. Oh, He's still got three holes to play. You know what I'm thinking? Oh, I know what you're thinking, yeah. Alongside Fitzpatrick. Can he read this one for his birdie? A little unlucky with his second just skidded a fraction at the back bunker. Yes. Oh, yeah. Come on, boy. Really good work. Soderberg. But, oh, found it eventually. It's to minus six. A man who joined great success in 2019, keeping Rory McIlroy at bay and four other players. Putting up the hill. Struck it well. Get in. Oh, that is huge. That is massive, and he knows it. Arms aloft, and it gives him a little breathing space. Oh, at last, he says at last, and he just knows that is a vital birdie. Yeah. 
You think about everything, every shot that he's made, every shot that he's hit, every putt that he's hold, every tournament that he's won. There's a potential, although he's still obviously got a pick. There's a potential of that putt. Keep it inside the hole, and he's made a million of them. Yes, well oh, done. It was. It was bravely hold. Goodness <laughs> me. What a sigh of relief, I'm sure, will come out of that body. It's his first cut he's made up the mountain in his third attempt, and it could be one of the most important cuts of his life. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.